Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, those are the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a huge shout out to one of my black belt students, Miss Jocko. She has now started her own YouTube channel and she's going to be posting ninjutsu videos and talking about some of the training that's offered here at the Buddha Dukai. So today I'm going to give you guys a little background information on her, a little bit of a student profile, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it and you guys go and subscribe to her channel and show her all the love and support that she's shown me. Um, now, before I get into talking about Miss Jocko, I always have a little bit of a preview for all of my new viewers. If this is the first video that you've seen of me, again, I am Krista Jacobson. I'm the headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, which means School of the Warrior Way. We teach the ancient martial arts uh, of the ninja and samurai, so ninjutsu and bujutsu. Our YouTube channel has many different playlists, so if you are interested in traditional Japanese martial arts, reality-based self-defense, survival skills, weapons training and tactics, martial arts conditioning, uh, martial arts theory, thought, and philosophy, Recipe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell. If you just subscribe and you don't click the bell, you won't get any notifications. We do post two to three videos a week, so by clicking the bell, you can keep up with everything that we do. Right, so let's talk about Miss Jocko. To start out, I want to say she's the first female to get a black belt in the Buddha Yukai. She's also the highest ranking female in the Buddha Yukai. And the reason I want to start with that is because this isn't some random student opening up you know, a YouTube channel to talk about ninjutsu. She has spent years developing her craft and her skills. She's put blood, sweat, and tears on the dojo floor. She's been a personal student of mine for many, many years. So by you guys subscribing to her channel, you are going to be able to see a student's perspective on what it is that I do here at the Buddha Yukai. You know, she is an absolute beautiful soul. She's so sincere. She's, as a student, she's shown nothing but the utmost respect and dignity and loyalty to myself and this organization. And she's just a great person. She's a great student and she's a great friend. And I'm completely honored to have her as a member in the Buddha Dukai and as a friend. She's just a really wonderful person. Now she already has posted a video on her YouTube channel and she goes through all of her journey and why she started training in martial arts and all that kind of stuff and I think you guys should go and watch that video. It's an absolutely wonderful video. Okay, the link and all the information will be in the description below. You can go to her channel, you can subscribe, make sure that you watch her video on why she started training here at the Buddha Dukai. Um, but I want to say in the video she did say that she's never done any other martial arts besides the Buddha Dukai. So this is what I mean when I say if you guys are really interested in what it is that I do and my approach towards teaching she's gonna offer a really good student perspective on what it is that I do because she's been here so damn long and she knows the ins and outs of this organization so if you are interested in what it is that I do or you you do support me you got to go and subscribe to her channel and like I said subscribe and click the bell and you can keep up with her thoughts on ninjutsu training and the martial arts that we offer here within the Buddha Dukai. Now when she started she was a teenager so um, as a teacher I've got to see her really grow I think any martial arts teacher regardless of what martial art you guys are studying and you know that there's this, this growth that you can see within a student. And I think we all can agree that when you're a teenager and you go to your 20s, there's a bit of growth and life experience that happens. And then when you're, you know, 20s going into 30s, there's a little bit of growth and life experience and then 30s to 40s and so on and so forth. For me, it's been such a blessing because I saw her at such a young age and I got to see her grow from this teenage kid to blossom into this very beautiful woman that she has become. She is such a good person and I've got to see that growth and I've got to help her through some of those trials and things that she's had to go through in her life and I think that's why we have such a good close bond because you know I was there to help her you know and just the same she's been here all the years in the ups and downs of dojo and she's been here helping me as well so I think that's why we have such a, a little bit of a close bond now as a student she's very very competitive um, I want to say that you know when most people see Miss Jocko see this little petite woman and she is you know she is very petite don't get me wrong I'm bigger than the majority of my students and I've had numerous people from supporters to haters make that comment you know constantly I get it you know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty big but when most people see Miss Jocko they see this little petite you know woman the image of that doesn't necessarily reflect with her warrior spirit like she is massively competitive she's very fast she's very quick she never shied away from sparring um, I don't think she necessarily liked it in the beginning that much to be honest with you but I don't think the majority of students do <laughs> but um, she excelled 
very well. And her competitive drive and her want to be better and her and her ambition of being better really separated her from the majority of women that have trained in the organization. You know, she doesn't she doesn't hide away from a challenge. She always steps up to the challenge. She's willing to push herself through the hard times. Um, physical conditioning has never been anything that she shied away from. And the reason I'm giving you guys a little bit of a profile is because a lot of times you guys, you know, people will they'll subscribe to a YouTube channel and the, we're talking about you know you know, random person one, right? And you don't really know their background. You don't know anything about their personality or how they approach things. Um, you don't even know if they're any good or if they even work out, you know? And you know, I'm really big on the physical fitness and, and the conditioning and the sparring and, and, the, and the, the application of martial arts. And we've had people come into the dojo, train in the Buddha Yukai, and they've even wanted to establish schools or groups and training groups and all this stuff. And even after that, shit, they leave because they can't hack it and they go off and do something easier. You know, she's never done that. She through the no matter how bad the training got, no matter how hard the sparring was, you know, she stuck it out and she kept going. And that that fortitude and that idea of, you know, that idea of nin of endurance and perseverance and the ability to overcome and just her competitiveness of wanting to be better totally separates her from all the other females that we've had training with in the school. And you know, when she's as small as she is and she's constantly training with guys that are, you know, 50, 60, 70 pounds heavier, way stronger, I mean, who knows how many inches taller, and she just holds her ground and she gets in there and, you know, she knuckles up with the best of them, I mean, hat, hats off to that. I mean, she really does encompass the warrior spirit that I demand in this organization. and. You know, it's been a complete honor to work with her all these years. I look forward to many more years of training with her. And if you guys are interested in what it is that I do, um, and you guys want a little background information, or you guys would like to see a student's perspective on what it is that I teach, and the way that I go about my, my teachings here at the Buddha Dukai, please subscribe to her channel. Again, I'm gonna have all the information below in the description um, to her YouTube channel. I'm also gonna put a link to her latest video that she just made. It was a wonderful video. You can see that she's very sincere, very heartfelt, um, you know, very much standing up for what she believes in and this organization. And I think it's just a wonderful video. So, um, like I said, you guys, please show her the same love and support that she's shown me. All the information is gonna be in the description below. And um, thank you guys very much for that. Now. Going back to my new viewers, if this is the first video that you've seen of me and you are interested in training in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, please go to my website at www.budodoninjutsu.com. There you see a list of our schools, the different traditions that we teach, the philosophy of training. If you don't live next to one of our schools, you can always join the Budo Dukai online ninjutsu dojo and you can start your ninjutsu training today with me through the online dojo. Thank you guys very much for your love and support and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.